Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Welcome to NIVS Home School. Here I am Kamrun Nahar, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School, Day Sheet. My dear students of class 8, today I am going to take your Bangladesh and Globalized Studies class. And today we will discuss creative question answer from chapter 1. Let's start the class. And dear students, there is a stem for you. Let's read the stem. Rakib was watching an old movie. The main character is defeated on the battlefield due to the deception of his commander and some of the most influential people and comes to his end. Because of this, business groups come from another country has long been in power. So this is the stem. And uh, there is a similarities in the I mean in your text uh, could you guess yes the it is similar to the uh, battlefield of Palashi and in the battlefield of Palashi the commander-in-chief of Shirajudullah betrayed him that means uh, there is a deception of his commander and as a result Nawab Shirajudullah defeated in the battle and what happened the British came to the power and question number a what is equally and it carries one mark number b which regime was the ultimate curse for the people of this country and this question carries two marks and dear students for question a and b you need to use the textbook i mean you should have knowledge of the text and then we will be able to write the answer and what is Iqlim we know that the provinces of the Muslim Sultans of Delhi were called the Iqlims and which reason was the ultimate curse for the people of this country we also know that the dual administration system is the curse for the people of the country and number C is which historical events in your textbook is related to the events seen by Rakib? Explain. I have told you that the historical events of the Battle of Palashi is related to the events seen by Rakib. That means the stem is uh, similar to the historical events of the battlefield of Palashi. And now number D, analyze the effect of the rule of those referred to as the business group of this mentioned country. So now we will uh, uh, discuss the effect of the uh, I mean the British rule and the uh, that means the uh, I mean business group uh, mentioned in the stream and now we will read the uh, I mean answer and there is a sample answer of this question question number a what is Iqlim and the answer is Iqlim means the provinces of the Muslim Sultans of Delhi which were established in three sections of Bengal and dear students all of we will try to write the answer of a in one sentence now number B which regime was the ultimate curse for the people of this country and the answer is dual administration system is considered as a great curse for the people of Bengal dual administration means the double system of administration the system of dual administration was introduced in bengal by robert clive of british east india company due to this system the famine of 1770 took place that means the famine of chiyatore mannamtar now number c which historical events in your textbook is related to the events seen by raki explain and the answer is the narrative of the movie watched by Rakib in the stem is similar to historic events of Nawab Shiraj Dola. After the death of Ali Burdi Khan, his grandson Shiraj Dola was crowned Nawab at the age of 22, and he was very young on that moment. And just after his coronation, he had to face two major problems, and we all know that what are they? Yes, uh, that means. Uh, he has to face the power of British East India Company and the uh, I mean the conspiracy of his maternal aunt Kassati Begum. Okay, let's read. One was the difficult task of facing the English with their increasing power and addressing the attacks of Marathis. 
the other was to resist the conspiracy of his eldest maternal aunt Kasiti Begum along with the commander in chief Mirza for Ali Khan and some other close associates so he has to face two major problems when he ascended the throne and the young Nawab had also faced third opposition so there is also another opposition and what are I um, mean what is it a power greedy Indian business community emerged at big business centers with the expansion of economic activities so there was also a power greedy Indian business who also fought against the young Nawab the Marwaris who came to Bengal from Rajputna belong to this community they also joined the English in the plot against the Nawab for their commercial benefit and the result of this was the defeat and tragic death of Nawab of Bengal Bihar Orisha at the Battle of Palashi and the defeat of Bengal at the hands of the British. Thus began the era of direct colonial rule. So when Nawab defeated in the I mean when the Nawab was defeated in the Battle of Palashi, the power went to the uh, British East India Company that means the British India Company came to the power and rule over uh, rule over this part I mean Bengal Bihar and Orisha now question number T analyze the effect of the rule of those referred to as the business group of this mentioned country and the answer is the effects of British rule in India were vast the British concentrated on creating an English educated class in the British India to cement their position that means to make uh, permanent that means they want to make their position permanent in the subcontinent and they established Calcutta Madrasa and Sanskrit College they also took various initiatives to establish Sir William Carey missionary and printing presses and, and published newspapers Moreover, with a view to spreading education across the country, many colleges along with schools were established. So, British established many schools and colleges and also university in Calcutta. And they wanted to make uh, an uh, educated society so that they can uh, strengthen their, uh, they can, uh, I mean, strengthen their power. And in this connection, Calcutta University was established in 1857 as a center of excellence and research. English governors Lord William Benting and Lord Hardinge introduced modern and scientific education system in the Indian subcontinent. So Lord William Benting and Lord Hardinge introduced the scientific education in India in the Indian subcontinent and the schools colleges and other institutions established by them provided education to a huge number of Indians during the British period so during the British period there was a huge development in education also in the communication system okay let's read again the British activity supported many social reforms happening at that time in India for example the British played an important role in abolishing Satida system and what is Satida system do you remember yes uh, in this system the widow burned alive with her uh, dead husband so which is very cruel and the English played a very vital role to stop it and introducing the widow marriage in British India and they also played a great role to <coughs> introduce the widow marriage the modern communication system of the Indian continent was built by the foreign rulers telecommunication system was also introduced in India by the British rulers so we can say that in I mean during the British period education and telecommunication system or the uh, transport system were developed so dear students there is a homework this is homework number 11 you will write creative question number 1c the answer of question answer I mean the question number C that means which historical events in your textbook is related to the event seen by Rakib explain so you will write the answer and be careful about the spelling so dear students that's all for
today i hope you have understood about today's topic and you will do the answer of question number c as your homework in your sw copies and do your homework regularly and submit it on every sunday within 8 am to 4 pm because your sba city and dimers will be given on the basis of the submission of your homework copies so dear students study a lot and abide by your parents see you again allah Hafiz.